All right, just got off the phone. Got a brand new door coming for this Ram 14, so there ain't gonna be hardly any body filler in this thing. See that dent? I just, we decided I don't wanna fix that dent. That's too much putty. This is too nice of a truck. We're gonna be getting decent money out of this truck, so let's put it right so it don't come back on us for the putty cracking in the door. So that way, the only place we're gonna have a little putty right there, just a little bit, a couple dings, a couple dings in these doors, not much. And the F750, we're actually, let me show you something on the F750. We're actually getting somewhere on this crazy thing. The insurance adjuster came down on the, the big red silver rod that we turned out last week. We filed a pretty heavy supplement on that thing. And I told him, I said, please come down and check this out. So I want to make sure it was a big number. <laughs> he kind of chuckled about the price because he said, you don't usually have this size deductibles, but we do. He's got to approve it with the supervisor to make sure it goes through. You know, I had him do it so we would make sure everything was legit because I want to earn stuff the right way because I don't want to lose it. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, look here. Look here. The F750. Got the hood on it finally. Uh, this should be out of here. I called the local trim center to have stickers made for this. But yeah. Yeah, once the fluids, we got to cycle the fluids. I was told these are hard to burp. The air, get the air at them, so we're going to burp it. So you got to charge the air. Make sure, is the tranny fluid full? You got to make sure the tranny fluid's full, huh? We put four quarts in it. We got to check the tranny fluid. Got to put the crossover beams to keep the hood, the spring loaded. But put the front, but I, we should get this done today. This thing, we're waiting on parts. They drove it, just destroyed, just destroyed the... Uh, rear brakes on it so we're doing that and he told us to go ahead and put front brakes and an oil change on it while we're working on it it's for his grandson this guy goes inspection mark and i ain't done nothing to it not a doggone thing matter of fact this thing it when it hit it broke that clear off see it it's supposed to be sticking up there we're going to, have to send a guy to huntington to get that piece this plastic piece and a couple little little retainers here we'll get them but yeah, we got to get this pulled enough at least to get it inspected. It, it don't have to be beautiful to get inspected. It's got to be all the parts are on it, hood shutting and stuff like that. So this thing should make it okay. Finished order some more parts for the Denali. The windshield, ouch. It's a pretty special windshield. They think so too. I ordered some parts for an insurance repair. Hey, was that a deer that Nissan hit, that Rogue? Yeah, Nissan Rogue hit a deer. We're doing that repair on that car. So I got everything coming for it that the estimate allowed for. And it looked like a pretty cut and dry estimate. I don't think there's gonna be any surprises on that car. It's pretty easy. It's a low, it's a low repair. It's in a 2000s and you know, that's anymore, that's a low, low repair anymore. Getting about lunchtime. Get off here and grab something to eat and try to post some more stuff today. Trying to, I, I waited awful long to start posting. This thing, oh yeah, by the way, <clears throat> this is the bed for the 14 room. Had a little tiny ding here and here. They were small, but we got them fixed. This is, uh, I might be painting this this week, I don't know. It's Wayland's project, but I still might shoot to bed for him. Um, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do my typical chase it with primer, or shoot it with primer, chase it with sealer, chase it with paint, base coat and clear coat it, and buff it. That's our plans on this bed. Uh, very, very little bit of filler. This bed looks wretched, but by the time you put the new paint on it, there's not gonna hardly be any filler in the this bed. This thing is finally getting ready to go home. I'm actually going to take it up to him. We had an awful time getting this gap correct until we found out it was a lot simpler than I thought. We was putting way too much thought in it. Loosen two bolts, adjust it where it needed, tighten down. It was great. So, that was going home. That one's still sitting here because I'm waiting on parts. This one gets inspected tomorrow, and you see it ain't ready. Hopefully in the morning I can get this, this puppy pulled out enough to get the trunk working. It ain't going to be perfect but by no means, but at least we can get inspected. That's all we're going for. I got to have it ready by 11.30, 12.30, somewhere in there. So we should be okay as long as I get right on that. We'll try to paint that bed tomorrow on company time, even though it's Wayland's deal. And we'll try to paint it tomorrow and install it Thursday morning before inspection, because that truck gets inspected Thursday morning. We went ahead and got a new door coming for that truck for the, the passenger side. I might have mentioned that. I don't know. But we do got a brand new door coming. So that way the truck won't hardly have any filler in it. We'll run this thing home and go home myself. <laughs> 